certain measurements is having very high weightage in mains so you cannot afford to skip this topic as j mains is very near you may say sir the time is very less how i can cover so i have brought you the 15 into 15 series for units and measurements in which i am going to discuss 15 quality questions that will give you complete conceptual clarity and boost your confidence in next 15 minutes so and let us begin first question here the expression for energy is given okay here alpha uh, is there and the time is there beta is our constant that is 0.3 now we need to find the error in a now here this is not a standard expression okay this is not a standard expression you cannot write directly delta e by e like that okay so what you need you need to differentiate write the relation put the values okay so do it and then come back i hope you are back so first of all take log differentiate it i got the expression okay after differentiating i got the expression from here i multiply this with 100 this becomes error in e error in alpha here i got 100 beta into dt what is dt error in t i know from there and t i know from there i can say this 100 dt becomes 1.6 into t t is 5 so this becomes 8 putting the values i can get the percentage error in e that becomes my 6 percent option 1 okay now second question here the expression for work done is given in terms of alpha beta the boltzmann constant k and the temperature okay so uh, what we need to find the dimensions uh, of beta is okay beta now how to write that so we know that this whole is a dimensionless this e to the power is also dimensionless if this is dimensionless from there i can write dimensions of alpha will be equal to x square by kt kt is boltzmann constant pv is equal to nkt from there we, i can say kt is energy okay dimension kt is having dimension of energy and x square is my displacement from there i got the dimensions of alpha now this is dimensionless so work done dimension is equal to dimension of alpha beta square from there from there i got the dimensions of beta square this is work done by alpha alpha i already got put it here from there if i take root i got the dimensions of beta okay so answer comes out to be the third next option and uh, next question here we are uh, having spring constant okay and that is related with the time and the mass okay so first of all write the expression see the errors also consider the sign of the errors okay and then write the percentage error in k so pause it solve it and then come back i hope you are back so i know the expression directly that t is equal to 2 pi root m by k i know the formula okay from there write the expression for k from there differentiate it write it like this here i am considering negative sign only not positive because i need to consider whether that is positive error or negative error from there okay put the values this is minus 1 percent and this is plus 2 percent okay so putting it i got minus 5 percent that is option one now next question here we are having a vernier scale which is used for measurement that is having a positive zero error okay if taking a, a measurement it was noted that zero on the vernier scale lies between 8.5 and 8.6 from there i can get the main scale reading the vernier coincidence is given to us as six okay then the correct value of the measurement is least count is given to us you know the formula pause this put the values then come back okay i hope you are back now so my length is equal to mean scale reading plus the vernier scale coincidence into zero into the least count minus the zero error we subtract the zero error you know that okay so main scale reading was 8.5 vernier scale coincidence was 6 least count is 0 0.01 0 error is 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02 con converting that to centimeter okay putting the values i got 8.54 which is option 2 next question here this expression is given to us and now he is asking what is the value of y in terms of proper significant figures now do the calculations apply the rules of the significant figures pause this and then come back okay i hope you are back now first thing is don't do calculations here don't do calculations here why so 
because he don't want you to do calculations. So apply the rules of multiplication and division in significant figure. Final answer will contain the least number of the significant figures. Here three significant figure, four significant figures, three significant figure. So the final answer will have three significant figure. If you come to the options, come to the options, only four is having three significant figures. So the answer is four. Okay. Only one option is having that. Next question. While measuring uh, diameter of wire using screw gaze, the following readings were noted. Okay, main scale reading is 1 mm. Circular scale reading is 42 divisions. Okay, the pitch is given to us as 1 mm and it is having 100 divisions. So, you can find how much is, uh, how much is the length of 1 division of the circular scale. Okay, so the diameter of the wire is coming out to be x by 50, find the value of x. Here zero error is not mentioned, so don't consider that. Do the calculations, then come back. I hope you are back. Okay, so uh, my length is equal to main scale reading plus the circular scale reading, zero error is not given, I am not considering that. Main scale reading is 1 mm, circular scale was having 42 divisions, so 42 divided by total number of divisions into the pitch. Pitch was 1 mm, so this becomes 42 by 100 mm, so the answer comes out to be 71 by 50 mm, so the option is second, that is our correct option. Okay. Now, next question, there are 100 division of cir on circular scale of screw gaze of pitch 1 mm, pitch is 1 mm. So, with no measuring quantity in between the jaws, the zero of the circular scale lies 5 divisions below the reference line. Be careful, see whether the zero error is positive or negative. Then, the diameter of the wire is then measured using screw gaze. It is found that 4 linear scale divisions are clearly visible. It gives main scale division, okay, while 60 divisions on circular scale. We will get circular scale divisions, okay, the diameter of the wire is. Do the calculations, then come back. I hope you are back now, okay. So, the length measured is equal to our main scale division. Main scale division was 4 mm, that was given to us. Plus the circular scale division, circular scale was showing 60 divisions. So, 60 divided by 100 into pitch. Pitch was 1 mm, I got 0 0.6. Now, zero error. Now, as it was mentioned that, coming back, what it was mentioned, the zero of the circular scale lies five divisions below. It means my zero error is positive, that is below. So, zero error is positive. So, zero error is plus 5 by 100 into pitch 0 0.05. Putting the values, I got the answer to be 4.55. Okay. Next question, the density of a material is in SI unit is this, in certain system of unit where length unit is this, mass unit is this, what is the numerical value? So just simple calculation, do it, then come back. Okay, I hope you are back. As the quantity is same, N1 U1 is equal to N2 U2 and this is density kg per meter cube. So this is M1 L1 to the power minus 3, M2 L2 to the power minus 3. From there I can get the numerical value in second system of units. So this is 121 M1 by M2 into L2 by L1 to the power 3. Putting the values, M1 was 1 kg, so 1000 gram divided by 50 gram. L2 was 25 centimeter, L1 was 1 meter, so 100 centimeter. Putting it, I got the answer to be 40. That is option 1. Okay, next. In order to determine Young's modulus, here radius is given and measured using least count. Least count is this means this is my error in radius. Length is this. Okay, least count in length is 1 mm. So, this is my delta L. Mass is this and this is my delta M. Okay, then elongation is this and this is the error in the elongation. What else will be the fractional error in Young's modulus? So, write the formula, write the error expression, do the calculations, then come back. I hope you are back. Okay, so first of all, I know the direct formula that is delta L is equal to FL by AY from mechanical properties of solids. Okay, F is mg, area is pi r square, Putting it, I got the expression for Young's modulus. From there, I related the error expression. So, this becomes my error expression. Delta M by M, then delta L by L, then delta R by R, then delta L by L. This L is the elongation one. Okay. Putting the values, I got the answer to be 1.4 percent. Next question. Let us read. Student A and B used two screw gaze of equal pitch and 100 equal circular divisions, okay, to measure the radius of a given wire. They are measuring the radius, pitch is equal, circular and uh, 100 divisions are there, okay. The actual value of the radius of the wire is this. 
the absolute value of the difference between the final circular scale reading observed by student A and B is. Now, what is given to us? You see here, position of reference O when the jaws of screw gaze are closed. So, from here, we can see there is difference in the zero error. Okay, if there is difference in the zero error, that difference will finally reflect because they are measuring the same length. Okay, everything else is same. Only difference is due to the zero error. How much is zero error here? Plus 5 units. Okay, it is at 5. How much is the zero error here? Minus 8 because this is 95, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so 8 units are there. So, it is lagging 8. So, here it is minus 8 unit. How much is the difference? 13. Okay, so the total difference between the two readings will be 13 divisions. So, the correct answer is 13. Okay, so let us read this question. Which of the following equation is dimensionally correct? Okay, so four equations are there. Many of the formula we directly know. So, mark it and then come back. Okay, I hope you are back. So, I know the formula for capillary tube that is 2t cos theta by r rho g. So, this is correct. It means work done from rotation I know that is tau dot theta. This is correct. Now, the expression for displacement current I know that is epsilon naught d phi e by dt. Phi is electric flux e dot a area if I bring in the denominator this becomes my current density. So, I got the expression that is also correct. Only expression remaining is first one. So, this is incorrect. And if you know the Poiseuille's formulas then you can say that first is actually the wrong because here we have q in place of v. Okay, another uh, question. So, four quantities, dimensions of those four quantities, solve it and then come back. Okay, you are back I hope. So, here I will use the uh, known formulas for each of the quantity. Torque I know that is r cross f. Okay, from there I wrote the dimensions of the torque and that is matching with four. For magnetic field I know the formula f is equal to q v cross b. From there I I can write B as F by V into Q. Q is current into time. From there, if I put, I got the dimensions of F. Then magnetic moment is NIA. Write it, got the dimensions. Then permeability. Okay, permeability means mu naught. So, any of the formula, magnetic field I already got. So, I know this formula B is equal to mu naught I by 2 pi L due to magnetic field due to a long wire. From there, I got the dimensions for mu naught also and that is 1. From there, I got the correct answer to be 4. Next question, here velocity and acceleration in two system of units are related, okay, like this. M and N are constant, the relation for distance and time in two systems. Which one is correct? Mark it and then come back, do it quickly. I hope you are back. So, in first system of unit, sorry, the velocities are related like this and the accelerations are related like this. What is the dimension of velocity divided by acceleration? That is time. So, if I divide these two, I got V2 by A2, that is my T2, V1 by A1, that, that will give my T1. So, I related T1 and T2. Now, this expression and this expression, V, if I multiply these two, what is V into T? V into T is length. So, V2 into T2 will give me length, that is L2. V1 into T1 will give me L1. I got the expression for L1, got the expression for time. So, the correct answer comes out to be as first. Okay, next question here. So, some physical uh, uh, quantities are given and the relation is given to us. Let us read it. The temperature difference can uh, generate EMF in some material. Let S be the EMF produced per unit temperature. S is EMF produced per unit temperature. Sigma is my electrical conductivity. K is my thermal conductivity. Okay, and we need to find the dimension formula for Z. Now, relate it and then come back. Okay, I hope you are back now. Now, see here, this is the formula. Now, try to relate. S was EMF per temperature, per unit temperature. So, that is V by T square. Okay, sigma was conductivity, electrical conductivity. I know that is 1 by resistivity. Let us write that as 1 by rho. K is my thermal conductivity. So, I know power is equal to K dt by dx. From there, I got the relation for K. Put that relation here. Okay, once I put here, I, I saw this rho L by A. What is that? That resistance. And this is V square. V square by R was my power. Here, this was expression for power. That is getting cancelled. Okay, this was 1 by T square. That was T there. So, this becomes 1 by T only. That is correct option is option 2. Okay, 
the last question of the series let us read it in the experiment to find out the diameter of uh, wire using screw gaze okay so screw gaze moves this much on main scale in one complete rotation that means that is the pitch division on circular scale is 50 main scale reading is this 45th division of circular scale is uh, in the pitch line okay the instrument is having this much negative zero error okay so consider all these values do the calculations then come back i hope you are back okay so the length measured is equals to main scale reading plus circular scale reading minus the zero error. What is main scale reading? That is given 2.5. What is circular scale reading? It was 45 units. 45 divided by 50 into my pitch. So this becomes this. Okay. Then zero error was minus 0 0.03. Put the values 2.5 plus this minus minus 0 0.03. That will become plus 0 0.03. Final answer comes out to be option C. Okay. So that's all in this video. We'll meet in the next 15 into 15 video. Thank you.